Oh my god, it's a scam! It's a scam! Hey, long my is a scam! Oh my god! Oh my god! Just kidding. <laughs> All right, minor digit here, guys. I know a lot of you said that this was a scam. Well, guess what? Here it is, the Dragon Mint T1 hashing at 16 tera hash. Let's go ahead and open this up, put it into my, the mining room, and let's see the difference side by side from an Ant Miner S9 to the new Halong Mining Dragon Mint T1. So it looks relatively the same size, looks about the same size fans. Also we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plugs, okay? Same as the Ant Miner S9. So like I told you before, we're going to put this side by side by the Ant Miner S9 and we're really going to compare the numbers. Now let's open the power supply unit. You see this came from MyRig. Again, looks very similar to the Ant Miner Bitmain power supply unit. But it's actually a little bit different. So this looks, I would say, about half the size and the width. You see this only takes 240 volts, guys. You cannot run this on your standard 110 or 120. But let's go ahead and Get into it. So we're gonna put this in the mining room and let's see what this thing's all about. Okay, let's go ahead and set up your brand new Dragon Mint T1. So we're about 38 to 41 decibels without me speaking. With my loud voice, we're around 74. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on. Give me one second, I'm gonna put the camera down for a moment. Alright, so this is the first time I'm setting this up, so you guys can go through the process with me. It seems very straightforward. Go ahead and press the IP set button. We've got the red indicator light. You can use one of many different programs to scan for your IP. Let's go ahead and hit scan. I have so many programs on here. So, sorry, so many programs. I have so many different devices on the Wi-Fi, guys. But let's see if we can identify which one is the Dragon Man. Also, great little setup instruction video right here. Not video, but setup instructions. I'll link this as well. Like I said, I have a ton of devices on here, but let's see if we can identify it. I mean, that was actually very straightforward right there, Dragon Mint. So let's go ahead and log in to the GUI interface and set this up. So you see that our address is 192.168.1.187. All right, and our username is going to be admin, password is dragon admin. I'm doing this all with one hand, so excuse the shakiness. And there we are. All right, let's go ahead and get this baby set up. We're gonna use slush pool. I'm using a slush pool that I haven't used in weeks if not months and let's go ahead and get it set up and see if this thing is really getting 16 terahash okay so you're going to go to your settings which is right here 
me go ahead and re-click this. Settings, pools. Now, if you don't have a slush pool set up, I'll do a more, more in-depth video of setting up the full slush pool and getting all your information. I have some videos out there already. So let's go ahead and copy this. So that's our URL to connect to the slush pool. Here's your worker. And I'm gonna set this up as minor digi dragon mints. Let's see how quickly and if it will set up. Now you have pool two and pool three. I set them all up the same. For your password, it can be literally anything, but just put something. So I have X as password, X as password. Again, guys, I will do a much better video for you. I literally just got the unit, so I wanted to get this out there so you could easily set this up. So again, excuse me for the shaking. And I'm doing this with one hand. Pools are updated. Please wait until the miner reloads the new configuration. Let's see if we're reporting anything on slush pool as of yet. Probably not. It always takes a few minutes. So everything is still trying to gear up here. All right, so we see there's the Dragon Mint. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video for a moment and wait till this thing sets up so we can check the hash rate, guys. The fans definitely have a little bit different noise. We see the three red lights on all three hash boards on each unit. I'm going to Antminer S9. Dragman. Still no connection to slush pool, but we are getting a whopping 7 tera hash right now. We still have to wait for this thing to update and to really solidify. Let's go ahead and refresh this. So we have runtime of 11 minutes, 15.69 tera hash, zero rejected sh shares so far. It's still running nice and cool in a decently warm environment. All right, after nine minutes, we are finally connected to Slush Pool. You see we're starting to get some type of notification that the worker is up. Let's go ahead and refresh this again. 366 shares, zero rejected, 15.86 terahash, incredible. Still staying at a nice cool temperature. I'm liking this a lot better than the Ant Miner so far. Let's go to refresh the slush pool. So we have 10 Terra Hash on the Dragon Min, 5.389 on the Ant Miner S9. So on the Ant Miner S9, we've been running for approximately 24 minutes with an average hash rate of about 13.5 tera hash. And so far on the Dragon Mint T1, we've been running for about 36 minutes with about 15.89 average tera hash. All right, so we're getting 14.21 tera hash 
on the Dragon Mint and 11.94 on the Antminer S9. Now obviously this will go up with time, but I want to go ahead and get this review out to you guys. So I was going to show you this just for the last time. Now you see on the Dragon Mint, we're running for just about an hour right now. And we're about an average of 15.73 Terra hash with only one rejected share. And still staying at a nice cool temperature, 71, 67, 67. Now that's pretty remarkable, guys. Now if we head over to the Antminer S9, let's go ahead and refresh this. Now connected for 48 minutes, average of 13.5 Terra hash with a temperature of 75 on one chip, 68 and 69. Okay, well there it is. That's your first hand review of the Antminer S9 versus the Dragon Mint T1. So my overall review is that I love the new Halong Mining Dragon Mint T1. The GUI interface is super easy to use. It's very straightforward. It connected right away to the mining pool, which I loved. The only downfall, there was one downfall that I liked from the Bitmain product was the noise of the fan. It seems that the Dragon Mint T1 had a more high pitched squeal, which tend to bother me a little bit. And the Antminer S9 had a deeper growl to it. So you guys saw the numbers, you saw the hash rate. I'll post another update and link it as well, showing the full hash rate over a day period so you can see what it is on Slush Pool after it's had that full day to populate. Um, but there it is, guys. That's your review. We all see that Halong Mining is not a scam. And for all you people that put that criticism out there and said that they were a scam, shame on you. Good luck mining, guys. I really hope this review helped. Once again, make sure you subscribe for all of the newest mining updates, tips, and tricks.